Have you seen this before? Yep. This was the scene inside NASA's mission control about 10 hours later. When scientists finally received the confirmation, the flyby was a success. New Horizons came within 3,500 kilometers of Ultima Thule, a tiny, icy object about six and a half billion kilometers away. Among those scientists celebrating today's achievement, a team of Canadians whose work was critical. Chris O'Neill Yates has more on the mission and its impact here on Earth. Blink and you'd have missed it. The first flyby lasted about two seconds at 14 kilometers a second. Among those at Johns Hopkins Laboratory when it happened was Canadian scientist J.J. Kevlars. Today is amazingly important. This is like an incredible, incredible feat, right? Uh, I have been working, uh, in trying to understand this process of how planets form uh, for about 20 years now. Kevlar says the work of Canadian researchers was critical. They built a model of the outer solar system that was used to plot New Horizons' path. Now that it's there, it will take about two years for all the images to be beamed back to Earth. And we just go, it's like, you know, you maybe see people at sporting events where they take their camera and they just press the shutter and they swing it past, hoping they catch something. And basically that's what we're doing. We will have insight, first-hand insight into the material from which we formed. Astronomy professor Paul Delaney has been monitoring New Horizons every move. This is a big day. It's a piece of the past that will allow us to not only understand our present, but project forward into the future with a little bit of luck. Today's excitement wasn't lost on visitors to Vancouver's H.R. McMillan Space Centre. Learning about how planets are formed, learning about the origins of our solar system and universe, it's, um, it's a great time to, to be interested in science and research. I really want to know if there's more life out there. For every you know, young scientist out there, th just think this could be them for the next great discovery 10, 20, 30 years from now. So to me, this is not just science and technology, this is humanity's future. Brett Gladman published a paper this month on the craters on Ultima Thule. This timing could not be better. I'm totally fascinated to see what's going to be happening over the coming weeks as the spacecraft imagery dribbles in. As far away as all this is, Kevlar says missions like this help to improve life back here on Earth. For instance, you know, the internet that we use today and that everyone basically, our, our lives depend on the internet now. New Horizons will continue its work until 2030 when it runs out of fuel, giving scientists a full decade of discovery to look forward to. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, Vancouver. And New Horizons is the first of many history-making missions set to take place in 2019. This month, China's new lander rover could become the first ever to touch down on the far side of the moon. We're also expecting SpaceX and Boeing to ferry American astronauts to the International Space Station. The U.S. has relied on Russia to do this since 2011. And this year could also be big for space tourism. Blue Origin, owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, and Virgin Galactic, owned by the billionaire Richard Branson, are promising to make big strides in launching civilians into weightlessness.